I think over the past 50 years, EMPO has made an enormous contribution towards strengthening the European research landscape. The quality of the postdocs that have received a fellowship and uh, whose scientific career has been supported by EMBO is absolutely outstanding. And without those, I think the European research landscape would look very different. Actually, I had an EMBO fellowship myself, and I got that in 1994. I actually think they have gotten better and better. <laughs> I very often think that I would not get an EMBO fellowship these days. Uh, it's really scary sometimes. What an amazing quality of applications we get. And it's sometimes sad that we cannot award more fellowships. So I think the EMBO Fellowship Program has the most detailed evalua evaluation process of any fellowship program. It's a two-step process. In the first step, we check the application for past achievements and uh, for the uh, proposed research. And then everyone who makes it through that step is interviewed by an EMBO member. And this interview then is the real basis for the selection of people into the program. So the EMBO Fellowship Committee decides basically on two criteria. The first one is the past achievements, and the second one is the proposal and the host lab. And the past achievements are, of course, judged to some degree by the publication record, uh, which does not necessarily mean that people have to publish in good journals, but they have to publish papers where at least the abstract uh, makes a clear case that this is very innovative and has moved the field forward. And in terms of the project, um, I think it's very important to go to a competitive host lab. We typically fund people who go into host labs where there is a good chance that they're going to make competitive research. And then, of course, also the uh, proposed research has to be uh, doable uh, and has to have a good high risk, high gain balance. So the advice that I would give to group leaders who want to prepare their students for an EMBO fellowship would be to involve them very early in grant writing, but also to make sure they really understand the theoretical background of their work and also they have a good knowledge of the literature that is actually found in the basis for this project. Typically a student who will just be following orders from their PI is not going to be a good candidate for an EMBO fellowship. And for the host PI, the advice that I would give is to first of all recruit high quality postdocs, but uh, also to participate in the process of designing the fellowship. Not to write the fellowship for them, but to give them advice uh, as to how to formulate it and how to write it.